Pirates, and this is the original Rue Gal, and today I decided to do the Would You Rather Beauty Tag. Um, for all my everybody out there hearing my voice, I we got a few questions here, so let's get started. Question one: Would you rather go out with messy hair and a nice makeup, or nice hair and no makeup? Honestly, Rudy's, I have to let you know, uh, it has to do with my skin. If my skin is cooperating or acting right, um, I don't even wear eyeliner or mascara. But if my skin is not acting right and I have like very, you know, dark pigment or uh, because I hyperpigment, I'm, I, when I scar, I'm very, my skin is hyperpigmented. Um, that's why I wear my makeup um, I know other people don't care but I like to see a blank canvas and unfortunately with makeup because it's covering up my dark marks um, then my eyebrows my natural eyebrows like get sucked in and can't even make out that I have lashes hey we got these features for something and I would like to put them on display if I can so um, Makeup, my hair, as long as my hair is neat, it doesn't have to be like, you know, I've dealt with middle hair a lot, so it doesn't have to be cut, a fresh cut, whatever, please, I'll throw my hair back in a bun, but I guess makeup would be the most important, making sure my face is just clear and straight, and if it can't be clear and straight naturally, guess what, just slap it on and Question make it till you make it. Would you rather shave your eyebrows or have your eyelashes fall out? I would rather shave my eyebrows. I could get eyebrows tattooed. So i rather shave my eyebrows than to have my eyelashes fall out because I have not seen an eyelash transplant and that is not very cute. Mm. Question three. Would you rather... I'm sorry, I don't want to look down all the time. Okay, would you rather be forced to shop at only MAC or Sephora for the rest of your life? It would have to be Sephora. And this is the reason. I do have a lot of MAC products and I do like MAC. But what I... Uh, I mean, it's like, okay, would you rather eat steak for the rest of your life or would you rather have like the full pantry and all the fish and all the seafood sephora has everything i'm not just stuck with mac i can check out makeup forever i can check out nars i could check out excuse me i could check out Too Faced. i could check out stilla i could check out um occ i could check out they just have more variety they have perfume see mac doesn't have perfume and I'm just sticking to the question here. So, yes, it would be Sephora, and they give me points. So, Sephora. Number four, would you rather wear lip gloss, lip liner looks, or 80s perm? I'm hoping they're saying 80s curly perm. Um, I like... Unless they mean permanent lip liner, I'm not sure. I thought that was 90s, not the 80s. But I personally would rather wear, well, I have worn lip liner and lip gloss, like right up what I'm wearing right now. Um, am I a typical lip gloss girl? No, I'm not. I do not put on just a clear thing of lip gloss with no lip liner and just have my lips looking all glossy. Reason B, ooh, sorry, sorry, ooh. Yeah, earthquake, earthquake. Oh. Reason being is because I used to be a smoker and my lips were very, very black or brown from, you know, burning from smoking. I do not recommend smoking for everybody, but I quit smoking, so I got my pinkness back to my lips, but when I was smoking, I used to always line it with a more rubenesque color, like a plum or not ruby red or straight up red, but, you know, a brown with a little... Um, red to it or pink to it to accentuate to my natural lips um, I've just gotten into if you've been watching my videos I've just gotten into some of the neutral or nude colors that are a little lighter than me yeah I do the foundation trick it's just like I've said before in many of my tutorials I just find personally this is my personal choice that lip liners that are too too light on my complexion make it look like I'm sucking on cornstarch and 
that's not cute. I like my lips. I like the shape of my lips. So I will use a lip liner and lip gloss or a lip liner and lipstick. Uh, number five, would you rather leave the house with an obvious foundation line or overdone blush? Obvious foundation line. Reason being is at least obvious foundation line. I couldn't work it out. Blush, if I try to work it out, I'm taking half my cheap and half the foundation off and all my pressed powder, I'm going to be have a shine. So I'd rather have an obvious foundation line and blend it in. Would you do six? Would you rather wear MC Hammer pants or biker shorts in public? Now this is so funny. And the reason why I say it's so funny because it's all coming back in style, i.e. the harem pants. Please, those are just MC Hammer pants. And all this leggings, please, we're going to go to bike shorts. So, if you're asking for me, honestly, I never wore hammer pants because um, the crotch was too, too far down. Um, I like my butt. I like my thighs. Hey, I even have a one of those toes so I will say maybe saggy bike shorts but bike shorts no hammer pants number seven seven oh would you rather have bad orangey spray tan or really weird tan line that cannot be covered I would say if I was wear to wear a spray tan, I would rather have an orangey spray tan because after a while it will wear off. The problem with having a bad tan that um, is very noticeable is um, I actually had a friend that fell asleep in the sun and she was real fair skinned and she looked like a lobster and it took about two weeks for the lobster red and the peeling and everything and her skin to heal and even when it healed it was very, very leathery so spray tan. If that was me. Number eight. Number eight. Would you rather have a bad haircut or a bad ha hair color? Bad hair color. Reason to have bad hair color, depending how bad it is and if it can be corrected, you can't bring back length. And especially if you like the length of your hair, a bad haircut could just kill it all. Kill it all. Come on now. Have y'all ever sat there and asked for a trim? especially 12 inches or longer you ask for a trim just one maybe an inch trimmed off the bottom just to take away the split ends and you go in there and they give you a bad haircut not only do they give you a bad haircut they chop off from your 12 to 16 inches length of hair they go and chop off four to five to six inches there ain't nothing you can do about it unless it's in layers there's nothing the only thing you can do about it is either cut it to even it up and make the layers at least more symmetry or if they do it in the center of your head all you can do is cut it and make it even that's just real talk so i'd rather have bad color there's enough products out there and there's enough um band-aids such as um conditioning treatments and pantines and carotene treatments and everything there's enough to go and rectify hair from bad color now i didn't say bad bleach bad bleach is another thing you're losing that hair but bad color i can deal with bad color it'll fade I could cover it up. I could stain it. It doesn't matter. But bad cut? Nope. So that's just me. Rugal's number words. nine. Okay, we got one more to go. But number nine. Would you rather have YouTube or Twitter taken for away forever? Honestly, Twitter, because I really don't tweet anything. As you can tell, I'm a talker. That's the only tweet you're gonna hear is the silence of the crickets. But um, I haven't caught on. I haven't caught on. Half these acronyms. Nobody know what the hell they mean. WCW. What? Sound like World Wide Wrestling Federation or some crap like that. I don't do tweets. I have a Twitter account, but unfortunately, I apologize if I'm not on it all the time. If you hit me up, I hit you back. But if you get a complete sentence, it's because I haven't caught on to Twitter. What am I going to do? Heading to work. Tweet, tweet. No. Engaged to Shamar Moore. Tweet, tweet. Yeah, maybe. I still got to find out his preference. But yeah, maybe you'll get that. All right, and lastly, number 10. Da -da. All right, number 10. Would you rather give up using makeup brushes or mascara? 
Because I do have decent lashes, I would say mascara. I really don't need mascara. I just like it because, you know, to play around with it, make it the doughy, dewy, you know, eyes. I do mascara, but I have to have those makeup brushes. Can you imagine me doing this face? I know it's very animated. I know it's very animated. Please don't get on me. But can you imagine me doing this face with my fingers finger painting? Finger painting. Finger painting. I got chunky digits. Look. Chunky digits. Yes, my nails broke off. I have chunky digits. This face? Chunky digits? No. I need my brushes. So, that's my... What is it? Would you rather beauty tag and I tag everybody that hears my voice to do this tag again this is the original Rugal and I'm making new videos every Wednesday and Saturday um ooh, does it seem like I open my mouth like real big like <laughs> oh anyway oh and here let me pan out so you can see this is my wall collection of nail polish I will do a two, yeah, this me, oh, my head. I will do a tutorial on all these nail polish for all my nail polish lovers. Yes, I sing so much. I am so sorry. I sing forever. But again, this is the original Rugal. Uh, wishing you the best in 2014. Again, trying to come with more, more videos, more content. Um, let me know if you want something other than tutorials. I can do my spoofs. Um, it's been a while since I did my spoofs. Actually, this is a beautiful location. Um, I'm very, very excited. Unfortunately, it's been cold, so I would go and take y'all out with me and show you what the Gulf Coast has to offer. But, uh, stop chattering, shimmering, whatever. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, hair. Look at it. Look, I mean... Like I said, I'm not endorsed by Ted Hair by any means. But again, this is the same here. I'll get up. This is the same hair.